Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Common Sense Academy. I'm your host, Joe Pometto, Joe the Lawyer. Today, we're going to take a look at an article, and the title is Kabir Gabaja Biamila Tasered Arrested After Refusing to Sign Document in Brown County Court. Now, I covered this story previously. I didn't read up on it to refresh my memory. From what I recall, what was happening before we dig into this is Mr. Biamila has some sort of church, a little movement, okay, that he has over in in uh, over in Green Bay, and he's got these people they are like followers from this church, all right, and he was in a dispute with the school district, okay, so I'm going to lay the groundwork there a little bit. I haven't read the article. We're going to read the article uh, here in a second. I hope everybody is home, quarantined, staying safe, washing your hands, getting all the hand sanitizer, staying away from the coronavirus, uh, spending your time watching me on YouTube. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. Um, If you like my content, go ahead, subscribe, like, comment, and share. Looking to get to 10,000 subscriptions, so a subscribe uh, would really help. Um, Also, I got a link below, Black Rifle Coffee. Since you're going to be in the house for uh, a couple of days, load up on caffeine. Black Rifle has extra caffeine. It's a it's a it's a terrific coffee. I drink it because it tastes great. The company is veteran owned, and a portion of their profits go to veterans. Um, I get a profit of the sale too. So if you buy the coffee, you're supporting the Common Sense Academy, the veterans who run this company and the veterans causes that some of the money goes to so it's a great way to spend your money get really good coffee black rifle and let's before we dig into the article let's do the same time sip i got my black rifle here uh cheers um cheers to getting through the coronavirus safely and peacefully as a country cheers amen let's do the same time sip it tastes better when we sip together Ah, good stuff. Okay, Green Bay Packers Hall of Famer. Kabir Gabaja Biamila was tasered and arrested in Brown County City Circuit Court Tuesday when he refused to comply with the judge's order and did not cooperate with deputies. Again, let me back this up briefly. His little church here, he he's come into court before and claimed to be a sovereign citizen. Now, he never straight up said he was a sovereign citizen, but he uses all the sovereign citizen language. And after the one court hearing, um, he sent invoices. He billed all the officials at the court. He billed the opposing parties. He sent them invoices saying, you need to pay me. Okay. Uh, He was briefly taken to jail following the altercation for resisting arrest. The incident began when Gabaja Biamila refused to sign a document in his divorce case, which he had uh, previously agreed to sign. Kabir Gabaja Biamila um, was a really good defensive end for the Green Bay Packers. Judge Donald Zeidmulder sentenced Gabaja Biamila to six months in county jail for refusing to sign the documents and left the room. <laughs> While 10 Brown County Sheriff's deputies surrounded Gabaja Biamila, he's a big dude, he's a big dude, at the defense table for several minutes, tried to talk to the six foot four inch former football player into complying with the judge's arrest order. He repeatedly said he did not consent to the order. Uh, We know where he got, we know where that playbook is. He was eventually tasered and handcuffed with the resisting arrest charge added to his day's troubles. In due course, Gabaja Biamila agreed to sign the document, which freed him of the contempt charge. But Zudmulder, Zudmulder, who returned to the courtroom, said he couldn't help Gabaja Biamila with the added charge of resisting and he was taken to jail. Gabaja Biamila, as he has done on a number of occasions, represented himself in the legal proceedings. That's, here we go. He has successfully, unsuccessfully, tried to convince a series of judges and court commissioners of his theory of sovereign citizenship and the belief that his religious views supersede civil law. He's very into using the religious aspect of it. He spent considerable time in court Tuesday quoting the Old Testament in defense of his position that the civil court had no jurisdiction over him. Okay, dude. Zeidmulder Zeidmulder was initially patient, even after Gabaja Biamila interrupted him at the start of the hearing. Not a good move. 
Then he lost patience. I'm not communicating. I'm ordering, Zeidmilder said. <laughs> After explaining to Gabaja Biamila that he could not rescind an earlier agreement to release certain investments to his ex-wife. Zud Mulder said Gabaja Biamila was being unfair to him by forcing him to order the ex-player to jail while the novel coronavirus pandemic was at hand. Why do they have to put the word novel before it? That is annoying the heck out of me. No cases have been confirmed in Brown County, but health experts say it's a matter of time. Gabaja Biamila opened the proceeding by saying he was not in court in person or as a respondent, but as a man. He said that despite providing the court with a birth certificate from California, I am not a citizen of the Republic, he stated. Let's do another little same time sip here, this uh, fantastic black rifle coffee. Mm. Gets good here. I have my own laws, which are superior Gabaja Biamila said. Zudmolder went along, acceding to Gabaja Biamila's request to be referred to as man. <laughs> Don't give them an inch, judge, and in saying he respected his right to worship the way he wanted to. Amen to that. But none of that would free him of obeying the law. <laughs> I have to tell you, the law doesn't operate that way, Zudmolder said before asking Gabaja Biamila several times if he was going to sign the document. Gabaja Biamila continued to state that he didn't consent, which is never proven to be the talisman he wants it to be. And Zudmilder imposed the six month sentence. I, I really like this journalist. I like his writing. An attorney who appeared to know Gabaja Biamila stepped forward <laughs> with an offer to help with him getting bonded out of jail after he was tasered, handcuffed, and strapped to a chair for transport because he was still unsteady on his feet. He made it clear he did not want her to represent him, however, because he did not want to become a ward of the state. Sir, you may be heading that way anyway. Brown County jail staff said he was out of jail by early afternoon. I mean, this is just hilarious. Um, woo. Uh, you know, go back. I got another story. Um, I got another video. Actually, let me remind myself. I'll link to it in the description below. If you guys want to see my old video on Gabaja Biamila, like I said, he operates a church. Um, and I have all the respect in the world for that. Um, but this sovereign citizen stuff, mixing it with that. I mean, come on, man. Come on, man. He never really comes forward and says he's a sovereign citizen, but he uses all of the jargon. Um, he didn't want to become a ward of the state, and that's exactly what he became because uh, he refused to respect the, the wishes of the court. You know, uh, contempt of court charge is an individual criminal charge, okay? So you have to go through the whole process with that. Have a preliminary hearing, have a trial on it, later on plead guilty to it, plead innocent. It's a long process. So he's going to have to deal with that in court. So what I guess what I'm saying is there may still be more to come. Um, I feel bad for this guy because uh, he was a really, really good football player. And I actually liked him a lot um, when he was playing in the NFL for Green Bay. But come on, man. Uh, can't some of these NFL buddies give him a call and ask him what the heck is going on? All right. Thank you for tuning in. Just wanted to give you an update. This story is March 17th, 2020. I got more videos, more fun videos coming your way. If you don't like my commentary, don't watch my show. If you do like my commentary and you like my show, go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, and share. Also, sign up for my email list. You get a free PDF on the history and examination of the sovereign citizen movement. Common Sense Academy out.